Hey guys, and welcome back. So this is the first Demon Souls episode that I've recorded since I came back from holiday. Hope you're looking forward to this one. I've taken a little while out just to think of what I'm going to do. I was going to jump straight into World 4, but I realised there are a couple of things uh, that I should have taken a note of that I need to do before that. And one of them is this. Um, if you remember, in the last episode, we freed a guy called Yurt the Silent chief and once you do that when you come back to the nexus you'll find a dead body here he has a soul on him quite a nice soul as well it's like a soul of a hero or something um but the longer you leave it the, actually there might be another one somewhere uh like i was saying the longer you leave it the more of these bodies you'll start to find ah uh, there we go and he'll actually start killing people that matter at the moment like just these two bodies just appear and these are no ones so storied soldier's soul that's fine. And what you want to do is you want to come around here and you want to kill y Yurt. Yurt. You have a quick chat with him. I am indebted to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I would not have made it back to the Nexus. Now I can go on with my work. And for that, I must thank you. So even if it weren't for the dead bodies, you can guess from the tone of his voice that he's just an evil bastard. So we need to kill him. Uh, he uses a Shotel and a dagger, I think. I think he uses a dagger. He might use two Shotels. Uh, very similar to the Night Lord Trek fight. Can be quite tough. Um, he's got pretty good armor on. It's the Gloom armor so what have we here? that we'll get when we kill him. Do you wish to die so soon? Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, he is, he's attacking through my shield. Uh, that's just a dagger, yeah. Um, he does, he doesn't hit too hard. But obviously, if you give him an opportunity, he will do a lot of damage. I, I could just keep him at a distance, I think. Uh, but I'll try and, try and take him out two-handed. He's moving awfully fast. Anyway, there we go. So he mentions Mephistopheles. Uh, Mephistopheles is basically his boss, and she will appear once you... Uh, you need to get black character tendency. That's different to world ten... Oh, pardon me. That's world <laughs> different to world tendency. Um, should be... We should be able to get it. I'll do that eventually. And basically Mephistopheles will set you tasks, ask you to kill people. I think she asks you to kill Patches, the son of a bitch, which is a, you know, bonus little perk of the job. Uh, we won't do that just yet, though. There are other things we can do. Uh, we should... We should be using that. Uh, we should ditch the gloom armor first. Actually, I will show you. I'll just show you what it looks like. Oh, nearly, uh... I nearly did nothing then, I don't know why I said nearly. Here you go, that's the gloom armor. That's quite cool. Um, It's not the greatest defensively, It's I think it's got really good poison. Yeah, it's got pretty good, yeah, resistances are pretty good. Uh, it's quite heavy. Not, not worth it for the weight though, I would usually say. And certainly not worth it to cover up the bowl cut. So we'll, we'll leave it with Thomas. Uh, let's deposit. The gold mask. The gold mask you can trade in to uh, Sparkly the Crow for a colorless demon soul. Which is what we need to upgrade the silver shield with. Uh, so I might do that at some point. I might do that before we go into World 4. Although it is in World 4. Uh, but you'll see. Anyway, there's something that I want to do in the Tower of Latria first. Now, I'll try and be as quick as I can here. I can't honestly say that I remember exactly where I need to go. Um, but we'll go this way first. I think this way is a, is a good way to go. I mean, this is where you would naturally go while you were playing anyway, so... We'll do this because we have to. We're gonna say hello to Lord Rydell, and we are also 
going to, to grab an item or two, or maybe more. You know, however many we want, just a couple of items that we couldn't grab previously. Uh, but Rydell is probably going to be our first stop. As long as I can remember where he is. Um, we won't bother with those things, you know, we don't need it. Uh, these guys have got nothing of worth. Trying to attack me then, son of a bitch, I've forgotten that happens. No, uh, is this the way to go? I think it is. My apologies, is this what happens when you don't play for a while? Particularly to me, I have surprisingly poor memory. Oh, I can't do with anything there. Uh, okay, and there's no items, so I guess that we have picked up whatever we wanted to pick up from here. Sorry about this, guys. I really... I probably should have planned this all out, but, you know, sometimes you just want to jump straight into these things, and I just wanted to jump into the action. It's not that way. That's the way to sort of complete the level. Ah, uh, this way. Let's go this way, hey? And then I know we need to go down to the bottom floor as well. So we'll do that too. Ah, uh, right, there's stuff there. Okay, that's good. And, yeah. Oh, right, we don't have the key yet. Well, we'll try and grab the key. So this was all blocked off to us last time, I believe. And now, now we're free to explore. So let's grab this stuff. This is all because we have pure white tendency now. This, uh, that's why this place is unlocked to us. Stop shaking your cage, will you? I'll free you when I can. Don't tr That's locked. I didn't expect that to happen. That's... okay. It's not okay. I sort of expected these things to be... open. Why is the first one open and now nothing else is open? That's open as well. This... this doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, we can figure this out, I think, guys. You know, we're, we're all smart people here. Uh, you. You, probably more so than... than I. I don't know why I expected that to suddenly be open. Please, help me. Yeah, I will, man. I will, Rydell. Let's go down to the bottom floor. I know that there is something else um, that's unlocked for us down there. We can just avoid the mass of souls. That is what your name really is. Uh, and then we'll try and get on with things. We, you know, we might pick up a key there. That could just be where it is. I might just be, uh... I might just be forgetting things, which... You know, it's like, it's not the first time, and it's certainly not going to be the last time that I've forgotten something. Just keep an eye out here. I can't remember whether there's any holes in the floor. I don't think there is. Uh, alright, anyway. Oh! Bollocks, I meant to go around the other way. I think I did. I might not even be in the right place. I don't think I'm in the right place. I don't think I was... I think I was supposed to go up the other side, or the other way. Some other side. This side? Eye out on the floor. Okay, that's armor that I didn't pick up earlier. I remember that. And there's nothing in... Oh, come on, there's definitely... There is something going on here, some sort of conspiracy. Let's just grab this. Uh, it's the stuff, the fluted armor. It's, I thought it was the the Murden set, but it's not. Um, it's the, the fluted, which is the armor the knight begins with. So if you start as a knight, you can expect to be wearing that armor, should you wish to wear that armor. Where is that fucking key? I'm going to kill this... Bastard son of a bitch, motherfucker. Ah, oh, he's such a dick. And we'll kill the crystal lizard as well, I think. And then we just have to see three shards of Moonlight Stone. I don't... I don't think I need Moonlight Stone for anything in particular. Just looking for items. I should. I, sh I should know how to do this, you know. 
I should. I'm not. I'm not that stupid. This is. This is going to be. You guys are going to be so frustrated watching this because I'm sure some of you know where it is, and the rest of you are just thinking, "Why is this Mong not doing anything interesting?" I wish I knew. I don't think I came in this way. Maybe I did. What is this way? Oh, hello. If bloody locked as well. Why is everything here locked? This... Th sorry. Already, again. I'm just... Oh, bugger. You know, I thought I would come in here and everything would be very straightforward, but it's not turned out that way. Turned out that everything is much more complicated than I thought it was going to be. And I grabbed all those items, so there's nothing there for us. And... And what else? That... That item is not important. I think if this takes much longer, then what I'll do is I will just have to check the wiki or something, you know, something to make me look a bit less stupid for uh, for a time. It's just I thought there was there was another passageway that this was sort of blocking, and that's not the case because I know where this takes me. And I already grabbed the stuff that I wanted out of here. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, I closed down Chrome as well, so that's annoying. No, you die. Right, I'm going to look this up. Uh, hopefully no time will pass for you, so I'll see you in a second. So, it turns out there's something that had been playing on my mind while we were doing that section uh, ended up being correct, which is unusual because all that's normally on my mind is, is breasts. But this time about, I was thinking about World 3-2. And if you'll remember when I was playing through this uh, episode, whatever it was called, I mentioned that in the first tower we go to, a bridge will appear, if we have pure white tendency. Sorry, I started speaking very slowly, then it sounded like I was going in slow motion, but uh, it's just because I was thinking. Anyway, that bridge is where we need to go to, because we need to, we need to get the key that that bridge gives us access to. And then, once we have that key, we can come on back and grab the stuff that we wanted to grab in the first place. It's all... A uh, very roundabout way of getting uh, some interesting. Holy fuck me! Oh, that was a waste. Uh, what was I? What was I saying? It's all a very roundabout way of getting uh, Rydell free and an item that we want. But that's that's the the souls way, isn't it? It's very everything is very roundabout. But we, we'll do it eventually. Now I'm just going to wait for the, the elevator here. Let's shield up. Uh, we've ignored a lot of enemies here, some of whom might not be too happy about that. Uh, ignorance. Ign <laughs> Ignoringness. Ignor it's, not called, it's not called ignorance, that's just a different word altogether, but. Never mind. Uh, we'll ignore that guy as well. Show our ignorance to him. Okay, so we come up here this way. This is the way to go now. And this metal bridge here uh, is gonna is gonna help us on our way. I'll just continue up this path. There might be enemies up here. I don't remember, but we'll run headlong into them. And if they can take a couple of hits from the scraping spear while I scream, then good for them. They have won the battle. But the war is far from over. Anyway, that's the key that we needed. And I wonder if I have anything useful. Oh, I have one shard of archstone. Okay, use it. Okay, anyway, here we are back in World 3-1. And we're going to quickly go and grab those items as quickly as... I can anyway. 
Um, I remember the path back here fairly well, so fingers crossed uh, we'll be able to we'll be able to get to uh, the next place fairly easily as well. No promises, of course. I don't. Well, uh -oh. I don't do promises, but we're gonna try. And I'm fairly sure it's this way we need to go. So we'll just run as fast as we can. And my apologies uh, for this episode. I didn't realise it was going to end up quite like this. I should have... I should have planned better. But the next episode will be... Action. Coming out your ass. It'll be very exciting. Probably. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. I don't, know. don't expect too much. Just come in with low hopes and uh, low expectations. And we'll go from there. I'm in the wrong place. But but I remembered that I was in the wrong place and that counts for something. Uh, I think it's this way. Get out of my way, slughead. Okay, so there we go. There's Rydell. Uh, you know what? We can save him right now, actually. There we go. You're free, Rydell. Why won't you why won't you talk to me? Oh why thank you. Thank you, kind soul. Please take this fine piece of work. Besides, I have no use for it now. Oh, and thus begins my final eternal rest. Okay, so you get the dull rat ring for rescuing Rydell. Uh, let's see what it does. A defense rises at 30% or lower HP. So, there you go. That's what that does. And now, to get the stuff that we actually want. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that, but never mind. Uh, is, it might be this. It's a three-cornered hat. That's in there. Um, okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, what's in this one then? Is this something that I want? Uh, it's a set of armor that I cannot carry because it would overburden me, but we don't need to worry about that because we can just stick on uh, the Ring of Herculean Strength. And there we go, we get the Venerable Sage's Boots. The Venerable Sage's Gloves. We get the Venerable Sage's Robe. And shall I say last but not least, or will it make me look a fool? Last but not least, we get the Venerable Sage's Hood. It didn't make me look a fool. That's good. Okay, and the Venerable Sage's Outfit is probably the one we're going to stick to, I think. It's the one I quite fancy. I don't think you get anything for killing uh, Rydell. So I won't bother. If you have pure black will tendency, Rydell will be a black phantom. And when you kill him, you get his weapon, which is the phosphorescent pole. Uh, I think that actually it does a couple of things. It increases your magic def defense. It might do. That could be a lie. It does something good. Uh, it has, it, yeah, it's something good. But no matter what it might be. Um, we might try and get it. Uh, I'm going to have a hard time getting pure black will tendency, I've realised, because if you notice when I first go into world 3-1 here, I only have three stones of ephemeral eyes, and uh, and they're the items that I was sort of relying on to do this, the whole world tendency thing with. Uh, we'll just have to see, though. I don't know. Uh, I'll try though. I'll try my best to, to do black world tendency stuff, even though it makes the game harder. But that's that's really that's really the point of playing a, a Souls game to make things a bit trickier on yourself. Uh, there's no point in me being a coward and uh, running away from that challenge. Okay, let's go back then. Now, for anyone who does know this game, will realise that I've actually. Uh, missed a, a White World Tendency event that I should have done, but did not do because I hadn't read the wiki closely enough. <laughs> uh, I might come back to it. It's nothing too important. It was just a cell that had some 
a parrying dagger, some rogues armor, and uh, two chunks of mercury stone. So there you go, that's what we could have picked up. Uh, I'll quickly show you the, the venerable sages armor, and then, oh, that's, oh, the fluted armor, that's why I'm so heavy. Uh, there we go, that's that, it makes you look just like Oh, I'm light with it on. That's actually really good. Uh, it makes you look like Sage Freck there. I like it. This is probably going to be the majority of our armor. Um, one quick change I have to make to it is this. Because you cannot hide the bowl cut. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. Sorry all the, about all the faffing about and, and getting little done. But I, you know, I'm trying to show you the world tendency stuff, and that was, uh, that was a lot of stuff. Anyway, next up we'll be doing World 4, hope you're looking forward to it, and I'll see you then.